What? What happened? I don't know why, but the Hollow Blossom has become legible now. That's great! I wonder what could have changed. Never mind that. What does it say? I... I can hardly believe it. So this was the truth all along. Let's check the flowers we couldn't read earlier, too. Well, well. Fancy seeing you again. So, I was wondering, do you have a moment? There's a place I'd like to show you. Would you come with me? Very well. Uh, great! Follow me! It's this way! Okay. We're here. This is it. This is... It's pretty rare to have a whole field of weeping lilies, huh? This place was... Well, it means a lot to me. It's so beautiful. I knew you'd like it. I'm glad I plucked up the courage to ask you here. You know how I said I've been looking for someone all this time? You did. I always acted like I was so sure I was going to find her. But to be honest, I'm thinking of giving up. I realized something the last time we met. I was only doing it out of desperation. I think I'm finally ready to accept the truth. I'm never going to see her again. But you have gone through so much to give up now. 
It may not be too late for you to... She's dead. She's dead. I think I've known that all along. This is the spot where Nora was attacked by monsters. I just couldn't bring myself to accept that, you know? I wanted to believe she was still out there, somewhere. Sorry. You've got enough to worry about without hearing my life story. It's just... I felt compelled to tell you, for whatever good that does me. Anyway, I think I'm finally going to settle down in a sleepy village someplace. Thanks for hearing me out. <sighs> Maria! Are you okay there? Whoa! What is that? What could Armand have got to? It's been gone a while now. <laughs> Armand! You're hurt! What happened? Run, Nora! Run! Huh? Soul stalkers! Come on! We've got to get outside! Run! <gasps> what? Don't look back, Nora! Just run! Now what? <laughs> Don't stop! Just keep running! Armand? It's okay. You go on ahead. Armand, what are you... Nora, meet me back here. In the field. Armand, no! Let me come with you. Armand! <laughs> Who are you? Please, don't kill me! At last, my search is over. Superb. This is the soul I've been looking for. that? Wait. Did you just see that too? I... I was... attacked. Here. And... I tried to save you. And... Armand... Nora! <laughs> Nora, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see you again. Armand. It's good to see you too. I just knew you were still alive. But... Nora, you look... I know. Armand, I'm not... human anymore. I was turned into a Valkyrie by Odin. Who has tasked me to save this world? Save the world?
I don't care what Odin told you to do. Come with me. What? Now? You're human. You don't have to fight as one of his servants. Armand. I cannot. Not yet. How come? I know in my heart that I was once Nora. But this body is a Valkyrie. And as a god, there is still something that must be done. But do you have to be the one to do it? I am the only one who can. And if I run from it now, I shall regret it forever. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, I... <sighs> Don't be. I'm just bitter, I can't go with you. Go. I'll wait for you. Thank you, Armand. I'll see you soon. Good luck out there, Nora. Be safe. All of you, we need to talk. It's about that hollow blossom, about the memories of Yggdrasil. It was hard to believe, but I think that is in fact the truth of this world. I agree. And given the All Father's behavior, he may have been hoping to hide it. If that is the truth, then what should I do now I have seen those memories? I have come to a conclusion. When I was created, I was empty. Given only my duty to save the world. I followed my orders without question or thought. But after meeting you and the other humans, something grew inside me. And now I know what it is. It is my own will. A will formed from both my human half and my Valkyrie half. I shall no longer be beholden to Odin, nor his claimer of souls. I now know that I truly want to save this world. I want to save it as a person and as a deity who belongs to this world. And if something stands in my way, I shall remove it. Even if it is Fenrir, or the Allfather himself. I feel the same. Let's go forward together. I... I want to help this world. And I want to help you. Hmm. I will fight even the gods themselves if I must. We in Heriar swear to serve you, Valkyrie. So, we'll be going against the gods then. The stronger the enemy, the more fun it will be to see them fall. We are here to assist you. Thank you, all of you. Then we should get to Fenrir first. Perhaps a part of Fenrir's domain that has been excavated. It might be recent. 
I can sense Fenrir's presence. Where does this hole lead to? Come on. Fenrir must be lurking within. That is... Odin's servant has come to my aid. Quite the change of heart. I want to thank you. If not for your warning, I would have remained one of Odin's puppets. Sir, why? Why aid me in battle? Because... The Nagelfar. We must finish it off first. The Holy Laws decree your obliteration. Fulfill your mission. My Are you all right? How? Oh. She seems disorientated. Wait! She's saying something. How dare my... The Allfather recognizes your deeds. You shall continue your work. Why? Why did mother and father have to die like that? If only I had learned of his schemes sooner. What is this? Valkyrie. Valkyrie! What have you been doing? Where are the souls I asked for? Forgive me, me, Father. If Fenrir is unleashed once more, it will be chaos. The human souls are vital to maintain order. I understand. Then get back to your task. This instant! Yes, oh Father. Something is wrong. I have never seen Lord Odin so agitated. 
The number of souls he amasses seems to increase without end, as do the number of undead on Midgard. Niflheim. It seems my memories found their way into you. Ah. Those were your... I want to save this world. What? I will go to Fenrir and Odin and question them. I need to determine whether the Divine are necessary. Or whether they are really just... our foes. I know you wish to enact vengeance on them. But please, allow me to talk with them first. And if the gods do turn their backs on the world, then... I would like your help in defeating them. You're right. All I want is to kill those wretched gods. Be they good or evil, it doesn't matter to me. I see. But I owe you my life. And for that, I can wait. At least until you have asked your questions. Then let us go to Fenrir. My, my, how bizarre. Two Valkyries visiting me together. Fenrir, if you overthrow Odin and become chief of the gods, what do you intend to do with this world? Do you wish to save this world? Your life depends on your response. <laughs> Your commitment to your task is admirable, but I don't think you will kill me. What? You see, the world's existence depends on the continued survival of at least one pure-blooded god. That means Odin, or me. Odin certainly has no intention of saving the world. So if we both perish, the world will go with us. Fenrir. Is that meant to be a threat? What? Remember, there are two Valkyries here. <sighs> I have long wished to see the end of the gods. But I do not wish to end the world with them. So that is what you've been plotting. Such insolence. You will pay for your foolishness, Valkyries. Here ends your miserable existence. <laughs> 
It is the only way, is it not? 
As far as I know. Even then, this will only temporarily prevent the world's destruction. And you're fine with that? As long as it puts an end to the gods. I see. Hmm. This is it, then. Inheria. Lend me your strength to the end. Let us save this realm. We're ready. Of course. Until the very end. Let us save the world. Odin. It has been a while. What are you... What is the meaning of this? Explain yourself! The veil has been lifted from our eyes, All Father. To the true meaning of this world. Of the souls you amassed. And of Ragnarok. Oh, indeed. Hmm, yes. There is conviction in your words, and a resolve in your eyes. So then you know that everything I have done was a necessity to prevent the world from fading into the void. Do you think that justifies exploiting and toying with the souls of those who have perished? A farmer does not mourn for his livestock. And neither can a god mourn the passing of every human soul. That is just how the world has managed to exist since time immemorial. And it shall continue to be so. So, you finally show your true nature. Then hear this, Odin. We two demigods shall form ourselves into one true deity and bring salvation upon this world. That is our answer to you. What arrogance! This is defiance, shameless and unforgivable. I have protected this realm as all father since its genesis. And you half beings dare to take it away from me? You have only ever protected your precious throne, Odin. The world never meant anything to you. It is here we bring an end to the machinations of a vile god.
Impressive. That soul of yours has surpassed all my expectations. But to lose you in such a manner is truly unfortunate.
Creating a new world would certainly be possible with this much power. So, what do you intend to do with it? The only thing that we can do. The gods were foolish in neglecting their duty. They let greed blind them and use the souls for their own gain. But if we can give all of it back to the tree... Huh. I expected nothing less of you. This is it, then. Egon. Cypher. Christopher. Tiger. I'm sorry. You... It's all part of saving the world, isn't it? No need to apologize. If all souls must return, then we too are destined for that fate. Please do not be saddened. We each carried an unbearable regret, but because of you, we were saved from an eternity of torment. The world is saved, and we will be reborn. There's no better outcome than that. I... We had a good run. I hope we get to meet again. Someday. Thank you. So then, what shall we do now? I believe you still have unfinished business on Midgard. I... but... Oh, well... But there is no time for... No excuses. Go. I'll take care of the rest. Hilde... It was because of you that we were able to right the wrongs that have plagued the world. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you, Nora.
Will the world ever go back to normal? It'll all be okay, Nora. As long as we have hope, we can do just about anything. Hope. You're right. I think we'll be okay. This world belongs to everyone now. Like a damn fiddle! 